Alright guys, welcome to part 10 of the AEK series, where we'll be going to Metalist Kharkiv in our third Europa League group game. This is going to be our leveler, this is going to be the game that um, indicates to us whether we're likely to qualify for the next part of the Europa League. Obviously being in the last, I think it's 32, joining the Champions League dropouts would be a great achievement in the third season, even if it is with AEK and not with one of the smaller Greek teams. Just where you consider where we actually came from at the start of the save. Since the last game against Bait, there have been a couple of league games just to go over. First off was our second dropped points of the season against Platanias. We uh, never really deserved anything uh, more than a draw out of the game, in all honesty. It seemed like on the uh, 2D highlights, a lot of the uh, general control of the game was going to Platanias. But we managed to take the lead through Grontis on 65, but an Antunis own goal, Antunis of all people, getting an own goal, uh, levelled the game, probably deservedly so. Disappointing performance. Then we had one of the best results of the save so far. We smashed Olympiakos 3-0, totally dominated the game. Bresovic, Zantopoulos and Zoric getting the goals for us. And I don't think the scoreline flattered us. We had all the possession all the chances and just completely took him out it was a very underwhelming performance from olympiakos and we took full advantage so after seven stroke eight games that leaves the table looking like this we're still top of the league haven't lost a league game yet we're level on points with panathinaikos and level on goal difference so we're top of the league by two goals scored both us and panathinaikos have a game in hand on tripolis just behind us so we both have the chance to sort of streak away and make it a two horse race for the title hopefully although it's far too early to be saying things like that um, at the bottom we've got AELK who just came up Panionios, um, Panthrakikos, Panitolokos are all struggling at the start of the season uh, a couple of those teams were actually up there last season in the top half sort of challenging us for fifth place so it's sort of surprising to see a few of them down there but um, Below the sort of top three, four clubs, um, most of the teams are quite terrible, to be honest. So, I suppose the position has changed quite a bit. But anyway, in fact, as far as we're concerned, it's been a very encouraging start to the league campaign. We've got the usual suspects, really, in terms of star performers. Aravidis, uh, at the top there, uh, 13 goals from 14 appearances. He's been called up to the Greek national team now. So he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves for his red-hot scoring form. Uh, Rapper has come in um, very well. Come in and done very well. Um, both left-back and right-back provided some very good cover for the injuries I'm getting in those positions. But Kakis also doing well at right-back. Um, tempted to train him as a attacking midfielder right, which is what I tend to play um, rather than normal right-sided midfielders i'm not sure how quickly he'd pick that up though he is sort of a senior player now so it may be a bit late in his career to sort of do that bresovic has been i've been giving him more game time and he's um, come on and done very well when he's come on um bagged a couple of goals including one um as you would have recalled in the olympiakos game so i'm gonna keep playing him especially in the league maybe um, put aravidis on the wings and just let uh, Bresovic do his stuff, flourish, because uh, he's had an impressive start to the season. Okay, let's get on with the game. Um, I need to think about this team selection fairly carefully. Our first choice keeper is injured, as well as Antunis, the first choice right winger. I think I will put Aravidis up top where he does best. Um, that's just a bit of a necessity, really, if we're going to get any goals from this game. Cielis is going to come in uh, back from his injury to um, to feature as he's a better choice at centre back. And I think Cordero can go defensive mid. Zazinho can come on after he's yeah, he was rested in the last game. Um, Zoric, Zazinho, Cordero. That's a strong um, yeah, a strong midfield. I'm tempted to play Class Mulna out wide, but I don't know if I should because he's not. A natural player there. Still can't really bring Barbosa on in the left flank. So, nah, fuck it. I'll go with Klaas Mulner out on the left. Uh, see what he can do. Uh, not sort of a natural player there. But um, he's pretty technical. 
so he should add something. Okay, this is the team then, let's get into the game. So I'm going to pick off from where they left off because we've got a lot of momentum from the Olympiakos game. Uh, Metalist are probably going to be uh, a completely different animal though, uh, hailing from Ukraine and being a bit of an unknown quantity, it has to be said. Never played Metalist before, certainly not on this save. Penilla now to Edmar. They have the chance to set up an attack. What is he doing? Penilla hits the post. The goalkeeper takes 10 years to react to that. That could have cost us a goal. Yeah, it does seem like Metalist are completely dominating us at the moment. It will be tough to get anything from this game. Oh my days. Leela 3 0 up already against Bait. Um, total sort of mismatch uh, their gr this group for them. Um, they should win every game fairly comfortably, provided they don't rest players when they've already won the group. But now Cezinho finds Zorich, and it's Platelas out wide, cuts inside. What can he do here? He can... Ooh, well, it was close. That was a decent chance. And um, the only chance we've had so far has been borne out with, well, selfishness, to be honest. I'm not sure playing Kassamil that out wide was the best decision I could have made. I will um, take Zorich off, replace him with a left winger, and put Knas Molner in the middle at half-time. Lille now 4-0 up. Uh, that game's as good as over. But it's half-time. I'm fairly happy. I think Metalist have had far too much of the play, though. Um, Zorich is a bit tired, so it may be best if we play Knas Molner and Zazinho in the middle. Um, Grontis can come on on the left. He's slightly more used to playing there. You can see he's not really any better than Knas Molnar on the left but he has played there in the league for us so hopefully he can play the position a little more sort of naturally and make more of a difference on the left 5-0 to Lille as we make uh, our second substitution and um, just to bring on some fresh legs to the right hand side of the defence I'm going to bring on Rapper for Bakakis be a bit of a crap episode if this did end nil nil, but I would definitely take a draw against Metalis. Good combative battling performance against a team who are probably statistically our equals would be more than welcome. It keeps us within touch of Metalist and in touch of second place in the group. But it's not going to be the most exciting episode, I don't think, unless we can grab a late winner. There would be scenes. But uh, there might be scenes, there are scenes, but not our kind of scenes. Because Metalist have taken a 1-0 lead. And we are at a serious disadvantage now in terms of group qualification. Ugh, just lost our discipline. We held on for so long and we've finally been breached. Damn, that's, that's annoying. I suppose it's a bit of an unlucky defeat, really. We played well, deserved something out of it. Yeah, we were the underdogs, so probably a bit of a snooze fest of an episode, mostly just watching um, the game try to come up with a highlight and fail, but that's the situation in the group. We're now three points behind Metalist in second, so we need to try and pick up some points from other teams. Um, I think uh, it will be the home leg against Metalist next, although I may be mistaken. Uh, I'm not really sure how these groups work. But um, nevertheless, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later.